Welcome back to the Jeff Ski. I am Gray, and today we have more FM14 for you. Um, in between the last match and this, um, we uh, we uh, reached the six month mark, and um, some contracts that we have coming up. In other words, we have some contracts that are going to be ending in six months. Um, I want to say Granholm, Resonin, um, are a couple of them, not too big, um, in my honest opinion. Um, however, um, Oyala, who the fuck do I have here? I have Saxola. Oyala and um, Ose are the two big important ones that we need to think about. Um, for whatever reason, um, in fact, actually, you know what? Let me show you what I mean. Um, I'm gonna fucking show you something here. Alright, gonna go to boardroom. Alright, we are, well, our wage budget is 8000 per week. Okay. Alright, we have, we are spending 3.8 right about now. We have, well, not that, that's a transfer budget, or was a transfer budget. Um, so, what I'm saying here is, we have quite a bit of room, quite a bit of wiggle room, if you will. Um, to to go ahead and re-sign these players. Here's the big kicker, though. All right. For whatever reason, I don't get this. I don't know. Oops, I don't know what I'm doing here. Here's the issue. They these guys want about six fifty a week. Now your wage scale usually depends on you know what um you know what their squad status is, all that good shit. Wonderful, great. Who gives a fuck, right? All right, here's the problem. Our, for whatever reason, our max is 350, which is not enough to re-sign pretty much anyone on our roster. I don't know why that is. Um, usually your pay scale is, um, at least in my experience, it's related to how much money you have left in terms of you know how much you're spending weekly and all that good shit. For whatever reason, you know, even though we've got about what four thousand weekly wage budget left it doesn't it it won't won't expand i i don't know why i don't know why we can only sign them for 350 a week but that is the way it is um fuck where am i where where do i need to be here there we go so yeah that's that's the problem so um there is a very good chance in all honesty that we may not be able to re-sign them so we may need to uh, re rearm ourselves going in the next season. Um, hopefully, um, fuck. I mean, there's really, quite honestly, our only shot is signing free agents. Um, so I mean, because we don't have any wage budget or wage budget, uh, transfer budget, so. Yeah, um, kind of in a shitty, shitty situation there. So, like I said, we'll see how it goes, but I'm not holding my breath too much. I don't know why that is. Like I said, it shouldn't be that way. I mean, unless there's some reason why Finnish clubs operate differently, I don't know. But it is what it is. So, what in the fuck am I looking for here? I'm looking for someone who isn't injured that we can play. Fuck, goddamn. We don't have anyone that we can fucking do this with, do we? <sighs> Shit. Don't like this. All the shitty fucking injuries. Gotta love it. Got to love it. Alright, so. Alright, I know what we're gonna do. I know what we're gonna do. I'm gonna be smart because I wanna rest Oyala for this game. He's a little worse for wear, and uh, I'm not interested in getting him fucking... Well, he is coming off that injury, quote-unquote, that came at the end of the last match, so... This is theoretically what we're going to go ahead and do right here. I think that's probably our best our best option. Um, Saxola apparently started to fucking bitch about not being able to fucking play, which I didn't think he had been out for that long or not starting or healthy and not starting for that long but uh, whatever whatever the fuck 
Who cares? Fuck that guy. Is what I'm saying. So, um... Yeah, we are shorthanded, and we have FC Lati here coming up. So, it's going to be... It's going to be a shitty game, I think. I suspect we will lose. Um, however, though, if we win, then guess who's right up there at the top of the table again? That's who. Yes, us. That's who. So um, there is there is a potential to, um, to hopefully turn our uh, luck around since the last game. Well, not really luck. That was just fucking shit. It's just shit. Just absolute shit. Anyway, all right, let's... I have only six... Oh, I guess, fuck. You you be the backup goalkeeper, because you're fictitious and made up, and you're going to disappear when I have another goalkeeper in the lineup. I don't like it shit. So, all right, so that's what we're looking at. Here's to not getting our asses kicked. However, um, I did look at something... Um. Uh, hold on here. Let me let me concentrate. Oh fuck. So we'll go with that. I don't fucking know. Give me any of the ones that I like to use. Um. Ah shit. I was gonna say something that was very relevant to what was going on, but I forget whatever the fuck it was. Anyhow. Um. Oh Jesus. There's nothing more irritating than arguably your best defensive midfielder just fucking giving the ball away like that. Good God. Anyhow, um... Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fucking... Oh, God. Really? It's gonna be one of those fucking games. Really? Really? You're fucking four minutes into it and you're already giving us fucking yellows? Jesus. Hate that shit. I just fucking hate that shit. <sighs> I guess we'll be lucky if we get out of here with a draw, huh? With this shit's fucking starting off. Wouldn't be half surprised if they fucking scored here shortly. It's looking, it's looking that way. It's looking like we're probably hitting that point in the season where we're gonna have that real shitty run of games. Like we did last season. You get to that point where, you know, the fucking wheels come off the bus and everything just falls apart. But, um... Oh, there you go. Oh my god, Owusu. Quite honestly, the last person that I expected to fucking score there for us, but goddamn. Goddamn, though, he has six goals. I just saw that. Holy shit. He has six on the season for us already? Goddamn. Someone's been scoring from deep. Shit. Oh, Jesus. I hate when they back up like that. Especially in front of their goal. It's like, oh, God. You're just going to fumble the shit out of this and just, you know, let it trickle in. But anyhow. Um. So, oof. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. A two-goal lead inside of ten minutes. The finishing has not let us down. Two shots, two clear cut chances, two goals. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Now I'm happy. Until we give away our fucking two goal lead by halftime. <laughs> We'd much rather have this happen in the second half than in here in the first. But it is what it is. That is, like I said, like minus the whole the thing that you know them liking to come back and stuff. Like, like I said, like a two goal lead, two goal lead. I don't mind. Like a two goal lead isn't terrible. You know, when when you give it up. Yeah, you don't like giving it up, but you know, like I said, it's not it's not it's not as insurmountable as other leads may feel and seem. You know what I mean? Like I said, a four goal lead or something like that. Like we had that one time and just fucking pissed it away. I hate that shit. Hate that shit. You know, but I mean, like I said, two goal lead, you know, all right. It's kind of a tricky lead to hold on to anyway. And I'm, you know, like I said, I'm kind of okay with that. But 
you know, when you have those big leads, and they just sh fucking piss them away. It's just no fun. No fun. I just really hope that Saxola can last the fucking 90. I really do. I really do. If he's bitching for playing time, the fucker doesn't need to get hurt. Although, if he does get hurt, then, of course, that little... I'll give you more playing time promise kind of goes out the window, and they usually forgive you for that shit. And they kind of just wait, wait it out, I guess. So... But anyhow, I am I am quite nervous about losing a couple of our best attacking players here at the end of the season. Although, quite honestly, I don't. It won't really matter in the long run. Oh my God! Are you fucking kidding me? Jesus! Like what the fuck? Ugh. Just. The fuck is that shit? Really? Fuck. That's one thing FM12 had a big problem with. They had all these fucking miracle goddamn goals all the fucking time. They're fucking striking them for, you know, from 40 yards out. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, seriously? You know, from, you know. Oof. Oh my god, yes. Yes. Nice. Good stuff. At least we restored our two-goal lead. But yeah, like I said, FM12 had a problem with that. Like, they'd be fucking shooting from fucking out here and fucking scoring goals all the time. Not even, like, spot kicks. Just straight-up shooting. It's like, fucking seriously? They'd always be perfect. But... And, of course, we've been fucking struck down by that sort of goal the last two games now. As long as we win this, though, I'll, I'll be able... I'll be willing to forgive as long as we come out of this match with a win. I mean, three goals inside of 20 minutes. I mean, I'm pretty happy about that. That's that's a good sign, you think? But all too often, though, it's going to come down to what we say at halftime and what kind of halftime speech they get. Although, like I said, I really think it just... I think they have just pretty much a, a set standard how they're going to come out. You know what I mean? If that makes, if that makes any sense, like, I think they have like just... A standard reaction when they come out of halftime and it all depends on what I tell my team at least that's the way it feels you know what I mean and it doesn't feel like every so often you give a team talk or whatever and they're the ones who come out and play like shit you know what I mean like it's almost always you, you give a team talk and your team either comes out and plays like shit or your team comes out and plays amazing that was a hell of a chance right there it really was but and like I said, usually your team, whether they play very well or they play like shit, is what determines the outcome of the match. But in it is what it is, and we are where we are, because we are who we are. And I'm speaking fucking bullshit right now. See, I'm not... I don't know. That is one thing. I, I shouldn't mention this. I was thinking about this earlier. I'm not really... I'm still... I'm still really, uh... Leary, I'm not really convinced yet of our club and its ability to defend aerially, aerial attacks, you know, whatever you want to call it. I think, I think when the ball is, is over our heads, that's where we're really at a, at, at a disadvantage. Because it feels like that. To me, anyway. It really feels like we're, we're, we're uh, not down a man, but just kind of really, really on the back foot when they start putting the ball over our heads. We got a couple of players who are decent in the air. I think Haglum is pretty solid. Suisi is decent. Um, actually, no, I think Suisi isn't. I, I come to think of it, I don't think he's one of the ones who's decent in the air. Yeah, of course, Ose gets a yellow. I mean, why the fuck shouldn't we all get yellows? I mean, considering we're... Oh, my lord, I thought that was going to be a goal there. That is one thing I have. I, I still haven't figured out. I still haven't figured out how to get goals reliably from... from corners in this game. I think in FM15, it's much easier. I think. At least from my... You know, from what I've read and from what I've seen, it looks a lot easier to get goals from corners. A lot easier to to um, come up with a winning formula, if you will. Well, well, we'll take that. Of course, Remisaho can't put it on frame. I don't know how he was onside either. That was 
A little shocking that he was still on side. Look at Maria getting fucking blasted by SJK. They're one of the they're one of the bottom clubs to the yeah, see that was good anticipation there, Saxila. Came in and cut that fucker off. Of course now when you send that up there, there's no one to fucking get to it. But oh look at that. Homakongas is hurt. No good, he's not hurt hurt. He just needs someone to spray some shit on his leg and he's fine because apparently kicking the ball hurts. Kicking the ball hurts. That is one thing, you know, like, I understand how you can get injured kicking the ball. You know, I understand it is a real thing. I totally get that. And I'm not knocking players for getting injured by, by, uh, oh shit, Saxel, why are you, oh my god, did you just, oh my fuck. Good lord. How the fuck did that happen? I think it just hit the post and the crossbar. He floated that in beautifully, too. That was nice. He deserved that. The only reason why I haven't played Saxilla is the fact that he's been injured so much. And I just don't trust him to go full, you know, a full 90 or even 60 sometimes. And that's really it. I mean, I'll go 60 with him. I'm, I'm okay managing that. That's not a big deal to me. I've done that before with other players and, and you know, had other quote-unquote injury-prone players. And, you know, I, I can do that. That's fine. But it's just the, if you can't go 45 even... You know, or 60, you know, that's all I really want is at minimum 45, oof. Jesus, that was a goal, I thought. He was relatively unmarked. Alright. So how should we handle this shit? We'll go with that. I think that's our best... Missed that. Wait a minute, didn't they start? No, we started the kickoff. Alright, I'll shut the fuck up. You say, how in the hell did they get to kick, start the kickoff twice? But, anyhow. As long as, like I said, I may just end up doing that. I do have Gronholm on my bench, don't I? Yeah, I do, alright. I may just drop into Gronholm if Saxola can last the 60. Just, just cause... I really want to take Hanan and Ose off. This fucking ref seems to have a fucking short fuse. Quite honestly afraid to leave anyone with a fucking card out there right now. Especially when there are attacking players. Not even our defenders that are getting cards. Ooh. Ooh, that was a good chance if Hagelin could have gotten over that. I'm just like trading goal kicks and shit right now. That's, that's fine. Oh, Mariam got one back. Move it there. No, not, not quite. Mm. All right. Oof. I'm always, I always, those little plays like that just that always make my heart stop. Always. I'm just like, oh god, like that, that striker's gonna get to it. It's not. <laughs> the good thing is though, they don't, they don't teleport like uh, Madden used to back in the day. Back in the day, oh boy, let me don't get me started on this shit. This is gonna be some fun stories. I used to play, you know, Madden and and uh, not the college football games as much. I played one recently, a couple years ago, but that's really the only one I've played in you know, really some time. And, and uh, Madden, uh, SJK, keep up the good work. Uh, Madden used to I want to say. Probably three, four years ago now, that used to have teleporting wide receivers. And they'd go up and like the ball, they'd do like a little, you know, in pattern or whatever, and they throw the ball and be like way out here, and the guy would be all the way over here, just make his cut, and then all of a sudden, whoop! Oh, he caught the ball. Look at that shit. Yeah, good old teleporting wide receivers on Madden. I love that shit. Love that shit. That's one of the reasons why I stopped playing EA games. Is like EA games would be stupid easy on on like low settings and like you just notch it up one and then just start you know having teleporting wide receivers and shit like i said luckily when you see those sorts of plays with the ball goes all the way back there and it's just a striker you know they don't just all of a sudden hit some fucking 17th gear and just like you know move heaven and earth to get there in time you know and and i can't tell you how grateful i am for shit like that because good lord 
I hate that sort of stuff. That would be so irritating. And then, like I said, you put it on easy and you're up 50 fucking points by the fucking halftime. It's like, there's no fun in that. I just want them to be, you know, decent. They don't have to have teleporting wide receivers and be unstoppable on offense. But that's just the way we believe shit should be, apparently. But anyhow, oh my god, see? There, there it is, right there. Oh, what a save. What a save. Hey, guess what? Guess what time it is. It's time to take Saxola off and put Gronholm in there. Now, if this goes through without Saxola getting injured, dare I say it, it was a good 60 minutes from the boy. Oh, fuck me. Jesus. And that's why... That's why you need a good goalkeeper. I don't like how everyone just kind of fucking stood there. Just kind of stood there like, hey, what? What happened? Who that? Uh, we still have one goal. A one goal lead. Uh, what the fuck? How the fuck was Hanan in offsides? Jesus Christ. Are you fucking serious? Jesus. Alright, Groundholm is out there. So we got a good 60 minutes out of Saxola. I'm, I'm okay with that. Good, no oh my. I thought that was gonna be another fucking goal from 30 yards out. I am gonna be really pissed if we fucking. if we do end up losing this game. I'm just gonna say that now. At the 70 minute mark. I always get really scared when the keepers. uh, send that long pass out of the back. I hate that shit. Oh, do I hate that shit. That scares the hell out of me. So I made fucking both whiff on that. Oh, you got options. You got movement and options. And the pass was late. It was late. Too late. Moist sander. Fuck. See, yeah, like long passes like that freak me the fuck out from your goalkeeper. Of course, now fucking Raphael is just fucking. Oh, there it is. Ooh, he just missed. You just missed. I thought that was their fucking third goal right there. Oh no, don't do something stupid. Please don't do something stupid. Please don't do something stupid. Jesus. I'd rather them just hoof it deep, quite honestly. Than do that shit. Oh my god. So let's see what are you doing? Oh, Ramali there to save the day. Jesus. I don't know if you've noticed, but like their ability to make up ground and get in position is, um,. Is the like the telltale mark of a team that's of better players, I should say. They're just quicker to react, quicker to get there, things like that. In all honesty, pace and physical ability is one of those things that really is different between a lower lower league club and you know those much better clubs. It really it really is like I mean, like like I said, you saw some some. You see some um, glimpses of that time and again from, from them here. You're seeing them, like I said, make up some ground that, you know, eh, kind of like that where they kind of were able to cut out that pass that really wasn't a good pass to begin with, but are able to get there and cut that off. Eventually, you'll see a lot more shit like that from us. Eventually. Not, not any time soon, I don't think. Like I said, this club is kind of performed rather dismally I think I mean in, in the grand scheme of things in all honesty I think they've been pretty pretty poor I mean we put together good results but we've had the results but I think the performance is what's lacking like I said I mean we've been able to kind of string together some wins and some undefeated streaks and, and stuff like that you know as you've seen so far in, in fact the last match was the first loss we've had in the league you know, oh, Jesus. Yeah. And there's shit like that that is irritating. However, if they just manage to hold on to the ball for the next 15 minutes and change, I mean, oh, not home. There you go. You'll see a lot more stuff like that, like those wayward passes that players can close in on instead of just standing around. Oh, my lord. Oh my lord, just kick the fucking thing. Jesus. 
What the hell? I was surprised when the keeper didn't get to that. But and that, that's kind of like, in a lot of ways, that is kind of the way football is. Is it's it's a lot of it's a lot of streaks, and I think you know if you're able to get, which we've been able to do, oh my, if you're able to get wins and get results without necessarily having great performances, that's kind of the mark of a great team. Like I said, even though I've, I'm not thoroughly impressed, like I said, a lot of our performances have been. Our best performances have been on the offensive end of the off, uh, offensive end of the ball when we, you know, with this formation, as you've seen. I mean, defensively, like I said, we've always had. Oh my God! Fucking Christ! Shit like that, you know. Just miscommunication, miscommunication right there. Whether it's miscommunication with the keeper or between the, the central defenders, and that unfortunately though is one of those things that we have to, we have to eat right now because we don't have any any defender I mean well I guess we do have finished defenders we can put back there but you know it's just one of those things you gotta eat it sometimes when you have a young young talent especially at defender and that's really where I think um, I think that's the hardest the hardest area um, to really implement a young player's defense in my time you know like I said I've, I've had a lot of young defenders and I'm not afraid to just throw a young defender out there clearly like Suisi is what 16 17 you know and Tunisian or some shit you know I mean oh my lord does that count tell me that counts it counts it counts wonderful shit god that's the first time in a long time I've seen the ball like ricochet in there and drop to somebody fortunately that is one thing that's kind of weird the ball's Balls don't really drop to people in a fortunate fashion in this game, I've noticed. Like, especially when it ricochets like that in there. You, I was thinking about that, because, like, long shots from distance when they've got a lot of players in the box, I mean, like, like off a of corner. It's like when you, when, you have a, when you have a corner and the ball comes out to somebody and, you know, they're outside the box, and everyone, of course, is in the box defending the corner, and you just fire it in there. It's almost always blocked, and it always comes right back out to you or something like that, you know, like that. You know, something like that almost always happens. It doesn't, it doesn't ricochet or you know, rock it around in there too much, in my honest opinion. So I mean, it's fucking nice to be on the fortunate end of that for once. And that should all, but as long as we can defend this fucking corner, that should all but put this one away for us. We're getting close. We're getting close, kids. Yeah, there you go. You got to shoot. All right. Or not. Get tackled. That's cool, too. There it is. That's what we're looking for. We're able to come away with one, and I believe uh, that that will put us at the top of the table. Yes, it does. Puts us white, 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 right back to where we want to be. FC Inter and IFK Maria are kind of having a down year, I think. I mean, I, I, I assume that, you know, Lati, Maria, and Inter would all be right up there at the top, would be the, the top three clubs um, in the Finnish Premier League. But, um, oh, also, while we're right here looking at this, this is I finally remember what I was gonna say at the beginning of the match. Um, I did look at the rules for the Finnish Premier League, and this is one thing I wish the game would do. I'm not sure if it updates the. Um, oh, well, I'm not sure. I know it doesn't update the rules. In the, uh, in the well rules panel, if you will, when you look at the league, I'll show you here. Fuck it, I'm just gonna show you. I mean, instead of sitting here trying to describe it and doing a fucking terrible job of it, why don't I just fucking show you? Doesn't that make sense? Uh, is there a link? Uh, FC Lati finished Premier League. We'll go there. All right. Now we'll go into the rules panel here. All right. Now, continental qualification. It tells you that this. This is what is not updated. Kind of sucks. So as long as this is still true, it should be because it's relatively early in the game and there shouldn't have been too much movement as of yet in terms of the... Um, 
you know, continental qualification places and stuff, because that does change. Uh, obviously, if if you you know get progressed really far into the Champions League shit like that, eventually your league you know gets gets the higher coefficient and gets more places. Um, and yeah, um, of course you need all the other clubs that also make it into that competition to do well to um to add to that coefficient so you can you know actually move up so this should be legit so really as long as we secure a top four finish which i think we can do now quite honestly i mean we're we're, we're quite a ways into the season and um and, you know i think we can i mean we're about halfway through the season i think we can hold down a a top four spot at this point um Especially considering we've got what a six-point lead on Mariam and FC Inter there, at like fourth and fifth. So there's that to think about. But the Euro Cup wouldn't be a terrible competition for us to get into. And quite honestly, I wouldn't mind getting into those competitions for the first few years before we get into the Champions Cup, just because it's it's you can probably go a little bit farther and make a decent amount of money. I mean. Really, for just playing in the first couple rounds of the Champions Cup and getting knocked out before you even get to the um, the group stages, which is really our first our first benchmark. What we really want to get to that's that's our first goal is to get in the group stages because that's like some eight million. I think um, I got the currency at euro, but that's some eight million euro that you get for that, and that's awesome. That goes a long way with a club like ours right now, of course. We have absolutely no shot of getting there, in all honesty. Really, we have no shot of getting there. So we are, yeah, we have 10 matches. We're a third of the way, almost a third of the way into the season. One more match and we'll be there. So, like I said, um, oh, fucking HJK. I forgot about HJK. What am I fucking saying? HJK should be the fucking, should be up there. Of course, they are playing pretty well. But anyhow, all right, so that does it for this episode. You made it this far on YouTube. You know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye now.